What's going on guys? Goji Fan 4 and 7 here and welcome to another toy hunt. So today I'm just going to be going around some comic book stores and other places to see if they have any Haya Godzilla toys. So let's get right into it. All right, there is nothing in that comic book store. So I'm actually gonna go to the mall with an FYE in it where last time I was there, which was Christmas, they had a Haya Godzilla and I didn't buy it, which I kind of regret. But um, last time I went, I wasn't there, but we're just gonna check again because we might as well. So see you there. All right, I think that was a pretty successful toy hunt. So what you saw um, there was like the Heat Ray and the Mothra and the Rodan, but he also had more in the back. He had the originals. Um, he had the Kong and the original Godzilla. I might as well just show you here. So what I got from that collector store was the Haya Exquisite Basic Kong figure from the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. The Godzilla 2019 from Godzilla King of the Monsters. Ooh. And he was giving them for like really good prices. Like, cause like since they're sold out, like people are selling them for more, but he was giving them for basically their base prices. And then here we have the Mothra from King of the Monsters and Rodan from King of the Monsters. So yeah, I'm actually really happy that I came here. And I don't think I need to go to the other comic book store I was planning to. I think I could just go straight home. So, might as well see you guys when I get home. All right, we are back. 
And as you saw, I got the higher toys, like a lot of higher figures. Well, four, but I got some figures and um, I don't know if I'm gonna review them. So I'm just gonna open them right here. So we're gonna start with this guy, the king of the 2019 Godzilla. So yeah, let's open them up. Yeah, so freaking cool. Oh, he looks so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, he looks so sick. He looks so good. Oh, wow. Is the tongue movable? Oh my God, you can move the tongue. That's so crazy. Wow, this, this is a crazy figure. It's, it's really freaking good. Look at this guy. All right, there's Godzilla. Oh my Rubik's cute. Anyway, there's Godzilla. Let's open up Kong. Oh my gosh, there he is. Kong from Godzilla versus Kong. So he comes with accessories, which I, um, well, I didn't know. I knew he came with the head, but I didn't know the hands were accessories. So he has two heads. He has an angry face. I don't want to like, I don't, here, I'm going to try and do this. And that, that's what I thought was going to happen. So I might as well just take him out one by one. He has an angry face with some teeth showing. He has a roaring face, which actually looks really cool. His normal face is, I don't know, like a resting face. He comes with... Let me see if I can get this out. Actually, I'm just gonna take it out. So here's the figure. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he's posted up like this, but wow, he looks really good too. And funny story, I posted it on Instagram when it happened. But when I got my SH Monsters Kong 2020, um, Kong from Godzilla X Kong Kong 2020, um, he had two left legs. So I was really disappointed. I didn't like trade it back or anything. I just kept it, but like, I was like really disappointed, but now I have this Kong figure and he looks really cool. But uh, yeah, his other accessories come with three pairs of hands. So like one pair is like crawling hands. The other pair is for holding the ax. Let me find if I can get this out, holding the ax. And the other pairs and the, the final pair is a pair of fists. I can't take it out, so I'm not going to. And here is the battle axe, which looks really freaking cool. So yeah, the Kong looks really good. So we're gonna set him here. Let's open up Rodan. Ooh, he looks cool. And here he is. Wow, he looks really cool. So the thing about this figure, and I think it's the same with Mothra, is that their wings are actually bendy wire and not solid plastic. So instead of having joints or like just this to move the wings, you could bend them. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's really cool. So I actually have the NECA uh, King of the Monsters Rodan and that figure, figure, that figure just completely fell apart. Like one of the wings is really loose. Um. So that wing just kept falling off. And with that, and because of that, I was really disappointed with the figure. I do appreciate, the one thing I appreciate about the NECA figure is that the wings were able to fold in. So he could kind of like walk around. Here, I'll put up a picture of like how pterodactyls like this. So yeah, that, that's the one thing that the NECA figure did that I was really like, I was like, that's cool. That That's cool that they implemented that. But because of that, that's why the wing kept falling off. So that was really annoying to deal with. But this, having the wings be bendy, bendy wire, is such a good idea. And NECA, Haya did a really good job implementing that into their figure. Um, it comes with a stand. So here is the stand, obviously. The other thing I appreciate about the NECA figures is that it, their stands weren't just like plastic, clear stands, is that they actually had like base to them. So um, Rodan's stand, was the volcano that he emerges out of in King of the Monsters. 
And for Mothra, her stand was her egg that she hatches from in King of the Monsters. So, um, I don't really mind having a clear stand, but I'm just saying the NECA, NECA like implementing like actual like diorama for their stands was a really good idea. So yeah, here's the stand. I imagine you just like clip him onto it and then he'll be chilling. So let me do that real quick. All right, I can't lie to y'all. Um, I tried putting him on the stand and he keeps falling or like almost falling. I'm not gonna let him fall. I'm too scared for him to break. But um, I'm just gonna figure it out later because he's not staying on the stand. So that's, that, that's a problem for a later time. But now it is time to open up the final figure that I got, the Haya Toys, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Mothra. So yeah, let's get right into it. Boom, there she is. Wow, she looks, wow, she looks really cool. Um, so, if you guys remember, I also have the NECA um, King of the Monsters Mothra. And to be honest with you, wait, actually, no, her wings are not bendy like Rodan's. So, um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, they are almost the exact same figure. The only thing that is different between them is I'm pretty sure their size. I think this, is, this one is smaller. And um, the paint job, the paint job, on this one's wings is more blue at the base of the wings and then carrying on the, the pattern up here. Whereas the NECA one just has this pattern going along. And I really like the paint job. Um, I really like the paint job of, of this Mothra. And she looks very movie accurate. She looks really cool. But besides the size difference, there's not really much of a difference between this Mothra figure and the NECA Mothra figure. So, um... Yeah, but either way, she looks really cool. And like Rodan, she also comes with a stand. Oh, as everything falls out. But yeah, like Rodan, she also comes with a stand. Whoops. And uh, built the same way, it's just a bit smaller since it has a smaller body. And um, to be honest, I'm not gonna try and put her on it because I don't want her to fall and break and yeah. She looks really cool, but um, if I'm gonna be honest, if you already have the NECA 2019 Mothra, unless you want her to go to scale with the other high figures, um, if that's the case, go ahead. But they are pretty much almost the exact same figure. So if you already have the NECA 2019, I say just keep it because that one, that one was my favorite of the NECA line. That one didn't fall apart at all. That one looked really good. And it has like a diorama type base. So if you have that figure, um, I don't really see why you would have to get this figure, besides it being a bigger um, sculpt and going along with the other high figures. Not saying this is a bad figure, this is a really, it looks really good. But if you already have the NECA one, they are basically almost the exact same figure. But um, yeah, 2019 Mothra. All right, so that is it for this toy hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hit the like button and the subscribe button and really help me out. My Instagram, Twitch, and second channel are on the link in the description below, so go check those out. And yeah, I'm really happy. Went from finding absolutely nothing in all the stores that I went to to finding everything I wanted in just one store. So yeah, these figures are really freaking cool. They look amazing. The articulation is a bit iffy. And what I mean by iffy, they are really stiff or it's very limited, like with Rodan. But they look amazing. They are sculpted beautifully. They look amazing. And I can't wait to see these guys on my shelf. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, bye bye